Echoes of History, The Tragic Plight of the Palestinian People In the annals of history, we have often asked ourselves how Adolf Hitler managed to convince an entire population of German people to embrace a deluded notion of racial supremacy. The ideology propagated by the Nazi regime, with its belief in Aryan superiority, clean living, and a superior race, led to unimaginable atrocities, including the Holocaust. Now, in the 21st century, as we reflect upon the ongoing war in Palestine and the treatment of the Palestinian people, we find ourselves drawing eerie parallels with the past. While it is essential to emphasize that no two situations are entirely alike, the echoes of history cannot be ignored. The treatment of Palestinians by some nations in the international community, especially in the USA, Canada, and parts of Europe, raises disturbing questions. In the case of the Palestinian people, there is a deep sense of déjà vu. Just as the Jewish population faced discrimination, persecution, and ultimately the Holocaust, Palestinians have been subjected to decades of occupation, dispossession, suffering, and genocide. The world witnesses their plight and, for many, the question persists, how can this happen again? The heart of the matter lies in the persistent denial of basic rights and dignity. The Palestinian people are relegated to a status akin to second-class citizens in their own homeland. Denied the right to self-determination, they are subject to harsh living conditions, restricted movement, and a lack of access to fundamental services and opportunities. The parallel to the past becomes even more apparent when one considers the stark imbalance of power. While there is the comparison between the atrocities committed during the Holocaust and the current Palestinian-Israeli war, also there are alarming similarities in the asymmetry of power dynamics. Just as the Nazi regime held absolute control over the lives of the Jewish population, the Israeli government exercises total control over many aspects of Palestinian life. It's essential to clarify that raising these concerns is not intended to equate any nation or people with the horrors of the Holocaust because the Palestinian situation is even worse. 75 years of occupation, apartheid, and genocide. And yet we, still, need to underscore the urgency of addressing the Palestinian question. It highlights the importance of upholding the principles of human rights, justice, and self-determination, which are enshrined in international law. The situation in Palestine should serve as a poignant reminder that the world must never allow history to repeat itself. Just as we reflect on the atrocities of the past, we must reflect on our actions in the present. The Palestinian people, like all others, deserve to live with dignity, free from occupation and oppression. A just and lasting solution is not only the right path but also the only path. Our world has evolved since the darkest days of the 20th century, but the echoes of history persist in the suffering of the Palestinian people. It is time for the international community to take decisive action and ensure that justice and self-determination are not merely ideals but lived realities for every human being, regardless of their race, religion, or nationality. The lesson we should take from history is not that the horrors of the past are inevitable, but that we must learn from them and prevent them from happening again. As we bear witness to the plight of the Palestinian people, we must ask ourselves, are we doing enough to ensure that history's darkest chapters remain closed?